Yo, Snapchat, let's talk about an augmented reality MMO for graffiti, where people could tag the real world and you could only see it through augmented reality glasses. Yeah. So you might have seen a whole bunch of demos using VR art, so there's Google Tilt Brush, where you can actually like, you know, paint in VR and have like, you can paint with fire and crazy trippy stuff in 3D and walk around it. Well, yesterday I saw a video, uh, I think it's called King Spray um, VR Graffiti Simulator. So the guy's basically standing in VR and they're just graffitiing a wall, it's really cool. Good. Which one? That one looks like I'll get stuck. It's good as well. So, if you pair that with something like uh, Ingress, which is that AR game, <laughs> in real world, then you can do some awesome stuff. So Ingress is a multiplayer online game uh, based in the real world using GPS, um, and so people can play, they can pick your, your side and you go around and you hack different portals in the real world by GPS. So imagine a world uh, where we're all walking around with AR HUDs um, and you can walk around and tag any building with your own graffiti that any everyone can see, so it becomes like a collective easter egg almost. Oh shit! So, like imagine just walking around the real world and seeing people's art everywhere, or dicks, or swastikas, but it'd be pretty funny. There's really cool stuff everywhere. Uh oh, mother and child turned up. I'm getting weird looks. Yeah, imagine how awesome that would be. Like, you look at the real world and it's just normal, there's no graffiti, and then you put on your AR graph, glasses, and suddenly the entire world is covered in people's tags, and you can tag it yourself and add your own art. With a base platform like that in place, um, you can do some awesome stuff just based on what the community does. So the community will naturally develop Easter egg hunts, and they'll naturally start, you know, there'll be patterns that you can flow with. And it doesn't have to just be graffiti. You could overlay art, you could overlay uh, photographs, you could overlay emojis on the real world. So imagine covering a bank in emoji dicks, or like poop, that'd be pretty fun. So you can start with a basic drawing feature and then start adding extra features like the ability to add photos on overlays on different buildings in the environment, videos, and then like that crazy animated fire stuff. I think the world would very quickly become overlaid with a lot of chaotic shit. You know, there'd be trippy like animated stuff everywhere, there'd be photos, there'd be graffiti all over the entire world. So then you can just add filters, so only, you can only see your friends' tags in the real world, you can only see your friends' uh, art, or see your work, workmates, or whoever's in your interest group, or whatever. A platform like this is, is huge, like it's inherently viral, because it's kind of like a hidden layer on the world that only the people involved in that platform and on that platform can see, and so they're missing out, you're missing out. And it's also exploiting that human need for novelty. I mean, you think about, uh, say, festivals like Vivid Sydney, where like, they're, they're covering entire buildings in, in massive like laser projections and stuff. And this augmented reality graffiti platform is like the ultimate novelty machine because every corner you walk around the real world, there could be something new that you've never ever seen before just sitting there on a wall, on the ground, on a chair. So 35,000 years ago, our ancestors were drawing uh, animals and cave paintings. Um, and even to this day, when you come across a cave painting, you're like, wow, holy shit, that thing wasn't there. That's not natural, that's, that's man-made. So there's some natural inherent uh, human attraction to the idea of novelty and particularly cave paintings and taggings. And I think this, this AR world concept is just taking that to the next level. And so here's a business idea for those of you out there who want to build this thing. Just um, build it on a smartphone to start with. We don't need the augmented reality hubs. Imagine a smartphone where you just tag your GPS coordination and you draw on the phone. So you can start with simple surfaces. So you have to either draw on a wall or on the ground. And you just kind of like hold your phone up against the wall, draw it, and then it just attaches it and permanently tags it in that AR world. And so then to monetize this platform, because it will be monetized, uh, you can just do simple things like what Snapchat does with their filters. So paid filters, paid tags, um, advertising in games, paid apps. I mean, I can't wait until we have an AR app store where you can download apps. Um, you pay like one or two dollars and they just add a new layer onto your reality. They change your reality. Um, maybe every cow becomes purple. This is one of those social networking startup ideas that will, will probably supersede uh, Facebook and Snapchat. Uh, and if you get enough users, it's one of those things that uh, Facebook, particularly Zuckerberg, will want to buy out. So let's know your thoughts. How can we build this thing now? And what features would you add to it? And how do you think it will change the way humans interact with the real world? Um, I'll, show, I'll show the VR example later in this video. Bye. Yeah, so check it out. This is uh, King Spray VR Simulator. Graffiti VR. How cool is that? So yeah, imagine that in AR.